Suppose you get SSH credentials of a machine and you connect to it by supplying username and password. After some enumeration, you realize there's a web service or website running locally, which means it can only be accessed locally from the server and anyone on the internet cannot access it internally. Now, how will you access that web service with just an SSH connection? Your answer would be to use port forwarding using SSH flags as it gives us the option of doing so. Well, you are correct, you can do it. But what if I take away SSH scenario? Now suppose you are solving CDF machine and find an exploit. You quickly start a netcat listener on any of the port. Let's say you start a netcat listener on port 9001 to catch the reverse shell. And you uh, do get the reverse shell back. So you are as www-data on the machine. Now you have no access to SSH. And you suddenly find a web service or website running locally. So what will you do now? What will you do in this case? You cannot use SSH flex now because SSH is not available. How will you access that web service or website from your machine in a browser? Answer is using chisel. So let's see how it works. All right, so let's suppose this is your attacking machine. That means you are attacking a machine from this machine. So let's take a look at the IP address here that we have assigned. So let's say IP config and we have an IP address of 192.168.0.103. Suppose this is your try hack me IP or hack the box IP, VPN IP. Just so you know the scenario more better. So okay, 103 is our IP. Next, let's see the machine that we have exploited. So this is the machine that we are going to exploit. Or suppose you, you have exploited it and you have transferred Chisel Linux to it. If you don't know um, how to download Chisel or where is it, let's see. So you're going to type chisel, github, and press enter. Here, uh, click on the first one and uh, go to the releases tab. Here, you need to download two of these. If your attacking machine is Windows, then you should download the Windows one, AMD64. And you need to download at, uh, actually two files here. One for the one uh, from which you are attacking the machine. So in this case, my a machine from which I'm going to attack is Windows so I will be downloading Windows AMD 64 I have already done it so I'm not going to do it again next we have to transfer chisel to the machine that we have successfully exploited that means I have exploited Linux machine that is you can see right here in the virtual machine so I will be downloading chisel for Linux also that is AMD 64 one so I have already done that too and I have renamed the files to chisel Windows and chisel Linux so you can see chisel linux is right here all right so chisel uh, using chisel is a bit uh, you can say confusing so in this video i'm only going to tell you how to forward a single port uh, using chisel therefore so let's straight uh, go into this and let's take a look at the syntax how to use it okay so uh, my attacking machine ip is 103 so let's clear the shell and let's see how i can access oh well before that I need to show you that what is a port that cannot be accessed that is running internally so in this case my SQL is running internally and so if I do ss dash turn to see the internal post running I can see it is running 3306 I can see my SQL is running on port 3306 and it is listening internally so you can see here it is 127001 that means it can only be accessed from this machine only from the Linux machine that I'm currently in and if suppose it, uh, if it was 0.0.0, .0 like this uh, it could be accessed from any machine on our local area network so if I try to access this machine I actually um, I go curl this I can say it says received but HTTP 0.9 is not allowed if I use netcat to connect to this I can say it is running MariaDB that means yes you can access it but on the other side if I go my, to my Windows machine and I launch with and I do the same command here let me switch to my directory actually okay so netcat and my Kali machine IP is it's 192.168.0.108 so let's copy this and let's go to Windows paste it here and then I'll say for 3306 I press enter and we can see no connection has been made because we cannot access the port since it is listening internally only 
So let's see how we can actually access that board using chisel. Okay, well, let's um, launch chisel you now. Let's go right to back. I should have put chisel and netcat on the same directory. I'm sorry. Uh, let's do that real quick actually. Let's say chisel, move it to stuff folder. Let's go to stuff. All right. So chisel, windows.exe. And here I'm gonna, gonna say that we are the server. That means we are going to listen for the connections. So chisel windows server and then specify the port that you want to listen on. That is 9001, I'm gonna say. And then specify the dash reverse. So this syntax may be confusing for you, but we will take a look at what does this syntax mean. So let's see what are these syntaxes. So let's say chisel Linux dash H. And okay, so we are going to just take a look at the help menu of server. And here we have the help menu. And here we can see dash dash reverse means allow clients to specify reverse port forwarding. So that basically means that we are going to do reverse port forwarding. Let's clear this out and go back. All right, so let's hit enter. Allow access. So now it is listening on uh, 9001 port for any incoming connections. Now, uh, in the machine that we have exploited, we are going to execute another command with chisel that will make a connection to our Windows machine. So it's like a proxy, you can say. So let's see. So I'm going to say chisel. And instead of server here, we'll use client because we are the one making requests to the Windows machine. So chisel client. Then we need to specify the IP of the machine where you want the ports to be forwarded to. That means this should be your try hack me or hack the box VPN IP. Next, specify the port that you have specified on chisel server that is 9001 that we can see right here. So yeah, we are, we are making a connection to our machine now, you can see. So we have successfully um, mentioned that now you just specify what ports you want to forward. So I will say that we are going to forward 3306 port that is are listening on localhost and specify 3306 so you might be saying why 3306 uh, in two places I will clear clear this doubt in a second so let it be like this press enter and we can see it says connected go back and we can see it says session 1 tunnel proxy 3306 and localhost 3306 so we can see uh, we have made a proxy connection and that proxy connection is at 3306 port and it is forwarding the traffic of localhost 3306 port so let's go to another tab and let's see if we can access that MitreDB server now so I'll say NC and I'll say localhost 3306 oops 3306 press enter and we can see that we can access it now so we have successfully actually did the port forwarding without the SSH connection. Next, uh, let's go back a little step and let's see why we specified 3306 two times. Actually, this is the port. port sorry. Actually, this is the port that you want to. This is the port that you want to assign where the traffic will be forwarded. So we are forwarding localhost 3306 port to let's say 5000 port so if I press enter now go back to windows you can see here it says 5000 here so now you will be able to access MyaDB on port 5000 you can see here it says MyaDB in the same way you can forward multiple IP sorry multiple ports that are running or listening internally so let's say there is another port running internally that is 8080 localhost 8080 so you can uh, actually forward that also by specifying the same in the same way you can 
specify as many boats you want to forward and just press enter and these boats will be forwarded via proxy channel i hope i was able to explain the concept the way should i have so if you did not understand anything you can always contact me on discord i'm available there and we will look at how to use chisel in a more advanced way in the upcoming video so stay tuned for that and i'll see you next time